Great night for Mike Ford at the plate. Two for four with a home run and three runs batted in. Let's hear from Ford. Um, that home run at bat, 2-0 count, were you sitting dead red there? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking for a good pitch to hit. I've kind of gotten out of my plan lately of hitting off fastballs. So tonight it was just kind of hunting fastballs in the zone and trying to take good swings at it, simplifying things. What, what does it say about this team? You know, Friday night, Mike Talkman had four RBI. Last night, Clint Frazier had five RBI. These are guys filling in. You're filling in, too. And you had three RBI tonight, all in big wins. What does that mean about the resiliency of this team and the next man up mentality? Yeah, I mean, I just think we have a ton of depth. Uh, we have a lot of guys that could, you know, play elsewhere, um, you know, right now and help teams win. And, and uh, it's just nice when, uh, when us fill-in guys can come up and have some success. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Ron Blum, go ahead and unmute. Mike, are there any times that you get frustrated at how hard it is sometimes to get on the field with this team? And how do you prevent yourself from getting too out of shape about lack of playing time? No, not, not really about playing time at all. I, I would say... Uh, as as a young or a, not, I'm not young, but uh, as a younger big league player uh, with only a little time, uh, I I think that uh, a lot of young players put a little bit too much stress on themselves at times uh, with those opportunities. So, I mean, that's kind of what I've been doing lately, just kind of pressing, getting out of myself, and uh, you know, today was just kind of a have fun day, and uh, it's not really about the playing time; it's more just kind of controlling your emotions when you do get. You know that two-week stint where you can try to prove what you can do. Thank you, Max Goodman. You have the next question. Hey, Mike. I don't know if you heard this or maybe you were on your phone since the game, but on the ESPN broadcast, A. Rod said you looked like Babe Ruth on your home <laughs> run. Uh, is that a comparison you've ever gotten before? And, and what do you think about it? I mean, yeah, maybe as a joke here and there, but. Uh, you know, we're both we're both hefty guys, I guess. So uh, the mold kind of fits there. But uh, I got a long way to go to be in that conversation. So uh, I appreciate the compliment, and uh, hopefully, I can keep looking like it. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Brian Hoke, go ahead. You have the next question. I don't know how to follow up on that, but I'll try. Um, it's now nine straight wins that you guys have had over the Red Sox dating back to last year. Uh, what do you think is allowing you guys to dominate Boston like this? Uh, you know, it, it's one of those games that we, we can all get up for pretty easily, um, you know, th them being our rivals. And, uh, you know, we've just been doing a good job of putting the gas on early, and, and our pitchers have come up big for us, uh, length into games, and then our bullpen shuts it down. So just good team wins, and, and just seems like each day a new guy comes, comes out of nowhere and, and provides either the offense or a great two innings out of the pen for us that day. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Tom Merriam, you can unmute. You have the next question. Mike, how do you explain the success at home this season, even without fans in the stands? Uh, I, I had said it uh, once, but I think it's just, you know, even though there's no fans here, we miss them, we want them here. They give us a lot of energy. I, I mean, I personally love playing in front of them because I was one of them my whole life. Um, but for us, it's kind of, you know, with all the protocols and everything, just being home, we have a routine. Uh, you get to go back to your own bed. Uh, it, there is still something to having a home field advantage, even without fans, uh, especially with the stringent uh, kind of guidelines in this year. It just kind of makes the day flow better.